Okay, all you followers of the Jazz Farm progress. I just thought I'd give you a little tour. Sorry about the wind. Wind out here is a never-ending problem. Uh, this is our greenhouse, and uh, we put it up last summer amidst a lot of controversy and problems. Uh, we found the gentleman that sold this uh, in Hobby Farms magazine, and all I can say is if you are going to try to uh, support smaller businesses, just be careful what you wish for. Uh, I'm all a big fan of doing that. But this was a five to seven week delivery time and it took eight months and completely ruined our grow season last year. <clears throat> but it's here. My son and I put it up last August in 100 degree weather. Uh, there's pictures of it on our blog. I'll put the link to that down below. But this is it. 24 feet wide, 36 feet long. Uh, it's made out of very strong polycarbonate and it's also made out of 12 gauge steel. Uh, that was the one benefit here. He did upgrade the steel for us because uh, of the wind and also because uh, I'm not the most gentle person to deal with when I feel like I'm getting taken advantage of. But we put up uh, shade cloth because out here on the edge of the desert things get pretty intense. In fact, uh, we had to really think about how to cool this thing down so we used commercial vents and commercial fans. They're not on right now because they're really loud so I wouldn't be able to talk. Here's our potting table and uh, this is about as much fun as you can have and still be dressed. I just brought all the plants out from the seedling room so they're all getting their first dose of real sunshine in anticipation of being grow uh, planted. All the tomatoes down the row. We've got onions and basil and squash and melons and cauliflower and broccoli and peppers and blackberries and blueberries and lettuce and lettuce and herbs, uh, all sorts of stuff. And then in the next couple of weeks, a lot of this will go out into the big garden, which I'll turn around. Well, you can't really see it, but if you look over by the brown fence, behind the brown fence over there, uh, way over there, is a half an acre garden where we put most of our root vegetables. So this has been great. Uh, being able to take the plants out a couple of weeks early, get them out in the sunshine, and uh, the one reason that we put this together was because the first year we were out here, we had all these beautiful plants. We put them outside to harden off and we got hit with the biggest hailstorm I have ever seen and it stripped them to their stems inside of five minutes. So we learned and here we are with all of these plants. The other signature part of the place is that we took it mostly off grid and put up this beast. It's a 6.7 kilowatt <clears throat> grid tied solar array with a battery backup system. And what that basically means is we provide our own power. If we use more than we need, or if we need more than we produce, then the grid fills in the, in the gap. If the power goes off, the, uh, the batteries kick in. And we've done that because on any given day, we have anywhere from two to 600 pounds of meat in our freezers. And if we're not here in town, it makes a lot of sense to be able to have a system that's going to make sure that the freezers stay cold. So it's kind of the best of all worlds, and we're, we're very pleased with it. So that's what we're doing today. And the reason that the plants are all coming out now is that we just went through a cold snap, and the weather reports now are showing for the next week and a half of nothing below about 75 degrees. So spring is here, and we're ready to rock. Anyway, Jazz Farm is growing. Yeehaw!